It took me a while to get together this next group because they were so hard to find. They are the rare earth elements, also known as lanthanides. They are... They... Excuse me. No way. But even lanthanide comes from the Greek lanthanine to lie hidden. Okay, I'll tell them. The name of this group of elements is misleading as they are not rare. In fact, all are more abundant than iodine. Neodymium is more abundant than gold, and cerium is the 26th most abundant element in Earth's crust. Furthermore, they are not Earth's, an antiquated term used to describe insoluble, heat-resistant materials. Like with the alkali Earths, this misunderstanding is a result of mistaking oxides of these elements for the elements themselves. From the Office of the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, dictated but not read. Well, whatever you want to call them, let's discuss this group. The rare, uh, well, these elements are all essential for our modern world. In particular, electronics. Some are used as catalysts in oil refineries. Others form phosphors used in pixels. Several of these elements are used in the sparker of a lighter. They are all essential for lasers. Many of them form powerful magnets. Some change the refractive index of glass for use in fiber optics, camera lenses, and welding goggles. Their radioactivity makes some of them useful for devices such as nuclear batteries and satellites and portable x-ray machines. <laughs>